The courts are coming out boldly to defend not only the rights of these suspects, but the constitutional place of the right to demonstrate and to picket in the Republic of Kenya. We are hoping that because we, we've been seeing that there has been a trend of shopping for courts, shopping for forums by the investigators, because at one time we were in Kibera, at another time we went to Kahawa Law Courts, and now they came hoping against all hope that this court is going to help them in their illegal investigations and their unconstitutional detention of political uh, political protesters. But we are glad that the court has been gallant so far by ordering that they, re they are released on a bond or a, a cash bill of 1,000 shillings. It's just but a, a move in the right direction. So that moving forward, we, we will at least uh, all protesters will know that at least if they are arrested, their, their, their rights are well safeguarded by the courts and that the courts will not shy away from pointing out mistakes or uh, you know some of these malicious investigations that are meant solely to cow uh, protesters or demonstrators who are keen on fighting for the rights of Kenyans. Yes, yes, you, you see th th there is a tension. There is a tension in uh, these people's rights, particularly that, is, that, that one with, that is spelled out under Article 37, that they have a freedom or a right to demonstrate and to picket. Now, the investigators, are looking at a law that was enacted in the year 1952, a law that was enacted purposely so that it could uh, deter Africans from fighting for their independence. I mean, we are living in, in the 2010 uh, constitutional dispensation so that our, Ken our current Kenyan constitution gives these people the right and the freedom to demonstrate and to picket. So we, 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 we see that there is uh, more than what meets the eye. Perhaps, and this is what I say with a lot of caution, that perhaps these investigating officers are acting under certain instructions to intimidate these Kenyans. If these Kenyans are hungry, if, if, they, if they are uncomfortable about the current regime and how things are being done, however high, how high you will build your walls, they will still climb up. They will still raise their voices so that they are heard are saying that they are uncomfortable about the current regime and the manner in which they are doing things. They are unhappy about the high cost of living and no amount of intimidation is going to cow them. They had to arrive at Moludinga and see you go to my evil. At the Nashkuru Kwanza, while the Maloya and Bawa met to Samamia Katika Kisietu, Licha to Angaish to Mangaisha Sana, Enda Uku, Enda Uku, Enda Uku, a kid to Nashkuru Kwamba, Ile Kitu and Bayo Kanga and Afanya, Iko Kwakatiba, Sijaenda Kando Nakatiba, Mandamano. Iko kwa katiba. Kila kitu ambayo tunafanya iko kwa katiba. Na mimi nataka kusema kuambia hii kambuni. Kwa sababu kashagu alisema ni kambuni. Na sina ufu ya kusema ni kambuni. Nataka niambia hii kambuni ya kwamba. Hakuna mutu yoyote ambayo anafandi okanga. Kama kuna mutu ananifandi, anifandi kwa akili. Kwa sababu ile maneno naongea inatoka kwa akili yangu. Aitoke kwa akili ya mutu. Kwa hivyo mimi niko na right ya kuongea. Niko na right ya kutetea wa Kenya. Na nina shukuru. Pia wale walinishika niliwauliza kwa gari unga mnabai pesa ngapi wakaniambia ni 200. Nilikuwa nafikiria anatianiambia 50 bob lakini wakaniambia ni 200. Kwa hivyo sisi kama wa Kenya tunasema kwamba hii kambuni iwachane na vijana wadogo. Sisi ni vijana wadogo sana ambao tumeangalia mbele na tunajua wa Kenya wanaumia. Na hata wale walinishika pia wako kwa shida. Ni kusukumu wanasukumwa tu lakini wako kwa kazi ili pengine wakisukumwa hivyo wanaongezewa kitu kidogo. Lakini tunataka tuseme ya kwamba katika nji yetu ya Kenya, tuko na democracy. Na hiyo democracy ndiyo tunatumia. Na mimi nataka ni shukuru wale wa Kenya wote, wamesimama na mimi kwa maombi. Kwa sababu nilipo chukuliwa, nilichukuliwa kama mwizi. Prado karibu hini, ni kama mimi nimeua. Wamenieka kwa boot, wamenizungusha, gari uoni, bele, nigiza tupu. Lakini na shukuru wa Kenya, 
na pia mimi kwa ujaziri nikasema basi kama mbaya mahali naenda kutupwa nitupwe lakini nashukuru Mungu pia au maofisa walikuwa watu wazuri kuna kitu walinifanyia ile tu alinifanyia madharau mpaka simu ya bibi yangu mwenye usiki kwa siasa wanabeba simu ya bibi mwenye hata watu hawajui eh sasa wanachunguza simu ya bibi wasaidie nini mimi nataka kushukuru tu Dan Sanomar na wale maleo wamekuwa nyuma yetu bado sisi tutaendelea na kazi yetu ya kutetea wa Kenya kushikwa sio maana tu wamesema ukanga usifanye ile kitu ambayo unastahili kufanya maandamano tutaenda tutaongea hivyo tu ndio yuko they arrested me on, on saturday while i was doing my my small shoppings and what has astounded me is the amount of manpower that was used to capture some of us who are just expressing themselves and exercising their constitutional rights to demonstrate and also to engage with other kenyans and my message is this that there are three things that they can't stop you can't stop the sun from rising you can't stop a mother from giving birth and you can't stop a hungry man from seeking food food is primal instinct to a hungry man so we are just a representative i heard they say that we are very influential and uh, if let uh, out if uh, we are not detained we can cause uh, national instability and i just want to say that uh, we are just but a small representation of the hungry masses the millions of the hungry masses if they want to stop whatever whatever they want to stop it is not about arresting us it's about sorting the needs of kenya and also it's about electoral justice our votes must count also kadansa romari uh, my lawyer shadrak and uh, he's also uh, uh, okay colleague holy and uh, to the dci we appreciate they were very professional they were respectful uh, even the police but the amount of resources those gadgets that can track me even to my to, to my house why can they use them to track the bandits in pokot and make rift valley safe tulishi mimi nilishikwa on 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 thursday eh nilichukuliwa area ya kagundu road na na dis, na design nilichukuliwa nilikuwa nimefikiria nimechukua nimefanya robbery mahali lakini hiyo yote ilishafanyika ile kitu nataka kusema ya kwamba kwa hii vita ambayo sahi iko Kenya ama hizi maandamano ambayo wanaona Kenya sisi kama wanagetu na sisi mimi kama bunge president ndio tulianzisha hii na tulianza kwa sababu ya maisha ambayo iko juu kwa sababu when president wakati president alichukua presi, alichukua kiti alisema kasarani ya kwamba nikirudi nikiweka tu biblia chini bei ya maisha itakuwa chini vijana watapata kasi ya kufanya wazazi wetu watapata school fee na watapata pesa ya biashara atujui kama biblia bado iko juu hajapata nafasi ya kuweka chini na tulianza hii kitu kama wanabunge na kama wanageto then baadaye tukatisha Railudinga na Kalunzu Musyuka na Martha Karoa to join in fact Railudinga na Martha Karoa to join kwa sababu sisi ndio tulianza hii safari na hao wali to join na mambo yao na tukaangalia mambo yao na mambo yetu tukaona inakuwa the same kwa sababu gani juzi tu hizi siku zote ambao wametusungusha kwa hizi jela ambayo unani alikuwa anasema yeye ni mtoto wa maumau e, gashagwa tukakuwa kwa jela za maumau tukapata hii jela za maumau ni mzuri kuliko ile jela in Daso area walisema ya kwamba wata make sure vijana wamepata kazi jana tukikuwa kwa hizo majela zote tukapata vijana ambao area maumau inatoka vijana wengi wanashikwa na bangi wanashikwa na ulevi kwa sababu gani au vijana wako na stress kwa sababu gani hawana kazi hawana pesa ya biashara wanavuta bangi ama wanakunywa pombe ili wasahau ya kwamba wanafaa wakuwe na familia wanafaa waowe wanafaa wakuwe na, na maisha kama watu wengine sasa mimi kama president ya ghetto ama president ya bunge na represent vijana wote Kenya mzima whether uko Kenya kwanza ama ulikuwa asimio au ndo wananiuliza gaucho tufanye aje that's why mimi nasema wapende wasipende the moment maisha iko juu mujenge jela mingi muweke risasi mingi na tear gas mingi kwa sababu vijana wetu wanaumia vijana wana kitu wa kufanya na president William Ruto ali promise ya kwamba mimi nikifanya tu nini alituanzia ya kwamba anapeana vijana 
pesa ya fuliza 450 waja tuambia ya kwamba kijana mgani amefaulu na 450 kuanzisha biashara anatuambia yeye alianza na bottom up alianza na kuuza mayai ye mayai yake sahi ni kikuwa kisumu nilipata mayai kisumu ni miambili ambao ye ndio main supplier ya mayai kwa nini kama ye kwila nasema ye ni mumuaki